What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabad, and I am proud to be bringing you guys our Week 7 battle in WBE World Battle Entertainment. We are going up against Coach Fanatex and the Atlanta Umbreons, so if you guys are excited, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the battle in the comment section of this video. Of course, in the description of the video, there will be Christian's channel. Make sure you go show him some love from me. He is a really good friend of mine. I'm really looking forward to this battle. If you guys missed the team builder as well, that, of course, will be in the description section of this video. You can go check it out, see what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. I'm predicting Chris to want to bring Kieran Black, Celesteela, Mega Guard, Gligar, Suicune, and Rose Raid. So Hazard Stagging is going to be good against this team once we get that Gligar out of the way. That is going to be my predictions going into this. I'm going to cut to where we connect with Christian, and I'll be right back. All right. We are back all connected with Chris. We said our have funds in the chat. It is time to go. You guys already know the game plan. We're leading off with the Scolipede. Here's hoping that, uh, here's hoping that everything goes well in our matchup today. Using a new capture card. So we're going to see how it works. We're going to see how it works. I want to make sure I've got my, my notes open. We already said the team I'm predicting, Kyurem, Celesteela, Gardevoir, Gligar, Suicune, and Roserade. All right. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got for me. Let's see how right we were. All right. So he got the we got the Kyurem. We got the Celesteela. We got the Mega Gardevoir. No Gligar. No hazard removal on his side. I love that. No Suicune either, so he did bring the Miltank, and he brought the Darmanitan. Darmanitan has that sheer force ability. I'm assuming Rosary would have the natural cure, so there is no hazard removal on his side. I like that a lot for leading off with Scolipede. I like that a lot for leading off with Scolipede. He does have, what is it, the, the Stelium Z? I'm curious if any of his mons will be taking advantage of that. Taking advantage of that Steelium Z. We'll find out. We'll find out. That we will. That we will. I'm very curious to see what he leads off with. He could lead off with Mill Tank for rocks. Um, he could lead off with Celesteela. He could very well lead off with uh, Darmanitan and just absolutely nuke us. So battle is underway. Let's see how it goes down. Let's see how it goes down. We'll show him how it goes down in Crimson City. Of course, like I said earlier, guys, you guys are excited for this matchup. Be sure to leave a like on the video. You guys always kill the support. And make sure you guys go show Christian some love. We're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Yellow. All right. All Might. That is the Darmanitan. That is the Darmanitan lead. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to lead off with Kachow. I'm going to lead off with Kachow. I'm going to get my spikes up and something's getting endeavored. I'm going to get my spikes up first turn. Because depending on this damage, I could poison jab turn two. Yeah, our Flare Blitz is an absolute nuke. And then poison jab, if he's under half from the recoil. If he's under half from the recoil. Um, that'll be fine for us. That'll be absolutely fine for us. Something to note, though, that his mill tank does have rocks. I'm assuming it's a scrappy mill tank. We talked about it in the team builder. I'm assuming it's scrappy. But one of the things that we can do here is just like I said, get our spikes up. There's no there's no hazard removal on his side of the field. We are golden. We are golden. He can flare blitz us into eternity. Like I said, depending on the recoil, I believe he takes 33% recoil. I don't know if that'll put him under half. I don't know if that'll put him under half. His Poison Jab, uninvested, can do 50 to 65. So I could easily endeavor on the second turn. If he doesn't want to stay in. This is an easily Flare Blitz. I'm trying to bait it. I'm trying to bait it. You think I'm going to protect and outspeed? Celesteela. Celesteela is a very... He U-turns out. All right, cool. So we see the U-turn. He is Scarf. He is Scarf because I'm not mistaken. We do have to be, Yep, he is Scarf and he's got the U-turn. All right. Only bad part is that he uh, he broke our Sash. Goes on to Inganium. Ah, yes, the Celesteela. So 
So Air Slash knocks us out here. If he's max special attack. Um, if he's not. I can go over the second layer of spikes right here just for the damage. I'm going to go over the second layer of spikes right here. My sash is already broken. Might as well get as much up as I can. Get as much up as I can. Goes to the air slash. It's probably going to knock me out. All right, cool. So the endeavor didn't work, but we did get the two layers of spikes up. Skullipede did what it needed to do. I'm okay with that. What kind of beast boost are you? Special defense. Okay, so insert. Dies to Celestila. Air slash. Another thing to note is that I go into Raichu and I click Volt Switch. I click Volt Switch. Because I wonder, if, I'm sure Earthquake from this thing kills regardless. Yeah, Earthquake from this thing kills regardless. I'll go on Raichu. Even a plus one. Uh, plus one max Spadef. This is still doing a large amount of damage. Large amount of damage. I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I can go on to Umbreon. And just kind of baton pass things around. Two layers of spikes is nice. I could probably also go out into... Would he be mixed? Would he be mixed for Rhydon? Hmm. That's another question. Because I could go out into Rhydon and Smackdown and start doing some shenanigans with that. But he, oh, no. He'd probably have the Giga Drain for Rhydon. And I don't want to risk that. I can go out and Ombre on here. Foul play should be doing a bit of damage to this thing. So you see the protect? All right, good to know. Um, I can fire off a T-Bolt into something. I feel like he would have went for Earthquake there. I feel like he would have went for Earthquake there if he had it. Volt Switch into Umbreon is still the play to make. Oh, nasty plot would have been huge right here. So he withdraws. All right. Goes on to Todoroki, which is going to be that Kieran Black. And he's going to take the spikes damage. Okay. All right. So foul play is doing 50 to 59 to a max attack. What is, what is Mach Punch doing to you? Forty to forty-eight, not enough, not enough. So Umbreon's the play here. Umbreon's the play here. We click foul play. I'm assuming he's Scarf. I'm going to protect, actually. I'm going to protect Scout and see what he wants to go for. The more information we get on this thing, the better. The more information we can get off on this bad Mamma Jamma, the better. The two layers of spikes is nice. I think Scolipede did what he needed to do. We can come in with Rhydon later and click Stealth Rock. I want to protect just a Scout. Foul play is going to hurt pretty much everything on his team. And we still have Rhydon as a Darmanitan switch in, which is nice. We know he's Scarf Darmanitan. Would he be Scarf Kieran when he'd bring dual Scarfers? If he doesn't bring dual Scarfers, not having Dragon Stab is huge on our end. Because we could easily Oko this thing, unless he's like Habanberry. We'll see what kind of item he is. We'll see what he wants to go for. I want to get an idea for what kind of set he is. Because, like I said, if he's max attack, foul play is a two-hit KO. So he withdraws. Okay. Goes out into Jesse. Which is going to be the Roserade. Interesting. Okay. Okay. 
So foul play is doing a bit to this, and he can't really touch me in return. Um, I need to charge my DS really quickly before my DS dies in the middle of the recording. This is very... This is very inappropriate, and I apologize. Here it is. Haha. Haha. -ha. Awesome. Still got a whole minute left to make a move. Um, I'm pretty sure foul play is the move here. What does... Actually... He can set up spikes too. I'm gonna go for damage. I'm gonna go for a foul play here. So he sets up spikes. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to baton pass this turn. I'm going to baton pass the Megalotti. Actually, I can baton pass probably into something else, the Megalotti. Megalotti threatens this immediately. Sets up the second layer of spikes. Yeah, I need to... I need to get you out of here. I need to get you out of here. What is Raichu doing to you? HP Ice is doing 40 to 48 if he's not max HP. We haven't seen Black Sludge yet. Or I go out into Megalodios and click Side Shock. I can also call mind up on this thing too. I'm gonna Side Shock just because it it does ensure the KO, and I don't want more spikes getting up. Go into Mega Guard, please. Give me that Reflect type. I don't think he'd bring... Would he bring... I don't think he'd bring Steel Stab on Celesteela this week. So he withdraws. Okay. Goes out in a Casey. Which is the mill tank. Okay. So Psyshock should be doing 20 to 25. Provided he's max HP, max defense. So he's got the leftovers. Okay. I'm going to go out and cut Kelder here. Does he set up rocks? Sets up rocks. Okay, so he's gonna hazard stag me back. Alright, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a battle of attrition right here. This is gonna be a battle of attrition right here. What do you switch in on me though? Celestila? Do I go for a Thunder Punch predicting the Celesteela to want to come in? Actually, I'm going to double out in the Latias. What do I want to do here? Hmm. Like, Mega Guard could be his... Hmm. I'm going to double back out into uh, Mega Latias. I'm going to double back out to Megalodios. I don't think he wants to take a Drain Punch from this thing. So he withdraws. Okay. He goes down to Ochako. There's the Mega Gardevoir. Okay, so I wonder if I can Reflect Type this thing. I wonder if we can uh, get the Reflect Type off on this. I think I just got to kind of go for it. I think I just got to go for it.
Because could I knock him... I think Gardevoir is bulky enough to where I don't think I can knock him out from full. And he could turn around and revenge kill me. So I'm going to go for the Reflect type here. Because he can see this as a free Moonblast. Or Hyper Voice. Hmm. Hmm. Because if he's in Mega Gardevoir, he knocks me out with a Hyper Voice. I don't even think a... If I'm, like, with Shadow Ball, he stays in. Give me that. Give me that Reflect type right now. Give me that Reflect type right now. If he goes for the Shadow Ball, that's a really good play. I will take that. There's the Hyper Voice. Okay. Awesome. So I am now Fairy Psychic. If 42%, if I get plus one off, Hyper Voice is no longer doing that much to me, but how much is Shadow Ball doing if he's got it? 42. I'm going to go for a Calm Mind right here. He stays in. He stays in. Goes for another Hyper Voice. Shouldn't kill me unless it's a crit. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to go for the Roost now. I'll go for the Roost. That'll bring us back up to 63%. Should bring us back up to 118. Should bring us back up to 118. He stays in. Stays in. Goes for the Hyper Voice. 31 to 36. So that brings me down to 59. Um, and then if I get up to plus 2, that Hyper Voice is not killing me. So I can get up to plus 2. Psyshock is doing a 2-hit KO, provided he's not max defense. And I'm pretty sure a plus two, we kind of start ripping through the team aside from Celestila. Yeah, Celestila, is a, it's a four-hit KO if he doesn't have the heavy slam. Ah, now he starts call mining back. Okay. He starts call mining back. Cool, 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 cool. And I'm at 31%. Hyper Voice is going to be doing a bit. I'm going to Roost. He can boost up right along beside me, but that's fine. I've got the reliable recovery. He does not. That's going to put me at 81%. That's doing less than 40. So I can take another one and fire off a hit. I'm going to fire off a hit right here. And then even if he gets to plus two, like if he call mines right here on my roost, he can't knock me out after that. So Psyshock will knock him out next turn. Goes for the Hyper Voice again. That's going to bring me down to 25. Yeah, he's... 
He's still plus one. I can roost up again here. Seeing if I got greedy, if I went for a Calm Mind right here, what would happen? I'll go for the Roost again. Hyper Voice only doing 30 to 40 at plus one. At plus one, and I'm plus two. And next turn, I should very easily be able to take out. Should very easily be able to take out this thing with another Psy Shock. If he keeps attacking at this point, I go for a Roost. The turn he does not attack me, I'll go for a Psy Shock. The turn he does not attack me, I'll go for the Psy Shock. So I'm curious what his Curum is now. I'm curious if he's dual Scarfers. His physical cure and we lose. Alright, so I get the roost off. I can get that roost off. What is he gonna go for? Goes for the hyper voice again. That's gonna bring me down to 50, 26%. If I get to plus three. Nope. I need a roost again. Brings you up to 144. He goes for Hyper Voice again. Forty-three. So I can get up to plus three right here. Because a plus three hyper voice is not doing a lot. In fact, he'd be better off if he had Psy Shock. Take my call mines where I can get them. We know his Celesteel has a lot of special defense. So I'm actually curious what kind of set he is, too. We saw Air Slash. Would he bring Heavy Slam and Air Slash? I don't think he'd bring Heavy Slam. We saw Protect on Air Slash so far. All right, so I get up to plus three. Hyper Voice is doing 27 to 32 for modest plus one Gardevoir. And if he goes for plus two, goes for the Hyper Voice again. That's going to bring me down to 32. I'll roost up right here. At some point, I'm out. I like I'm out healing the damage he's putting out. I'm out healing the damage he's putting out. I could also reflect type the Celesteela when it comes in. Then it's not doing nothing to me. Hmm. Hmm. Like, if he's got the flamethrower, even then, I'm plus three megawatty. That might be the wave, because then I don't think Kyurem can touch me either. So he withdraws, I get the roost off. Goes down to All Might. Choice Scarf, Darmanitan, U-Turn is doing not a lot to me. Flare Blitz has a chance to kill, depending on where I'm at. I'm at 67. Flare Blitz has a chance to kill. Psy Shock does kill him. I think I need to... I need to go for Psy Shock on his U-turn. Goes for the Flare Blitz. I think that's a dead Megalotti, unless I get low rolled right here. Nope. Damn. Unfort. Dies to Darm. Blitz. 
All right, cool. Um, right on comes in and I set off rocks. Right on comes in and I set up rocks. Um, I can go for the SmackDown provided Celesteela wants to come in. He's going to switch. I'm going to go for a roar here. I'm going to roar. Whatever he switches in. All right, so something's going to take spikes damage and something else is going to take spikes damage. Ingenium comes out. Okay. So SmackDown would have been a good play, but I'll roar him out. That's the only Mon that's not enjoying spikes. Goes back down to All Might. Perfect. Perfect. Give me as much chip damage off on this thing as I can. I'll go for a roar again. He U turns out, that's fine. That's minimal chip damage. That's minimal chip damage. What does he bring in now? Should have preserved Latias. That might have cost me the game right there. Because it's 6-4 right now. We still have Conkeldon. We still have Raichu in the back. And after enough, honestly, after enough chip damage, Raichu comes through and kind of cleans up. Goes out into Casey, which is going to be that Miltank. Miltank's going to be taking more spikes damage. I'm just going to roar him out. Give me that Darmanitan again. Give me that Darmanitan again, please. Todoroki, that's not what I wanted to see. That's not what I wanted to see. However, these things are getting worn down. And Umbreon is my switch in every time. Every time. Because he doesn't want this thing to go down. Alright, so he stays in and goes for the attack. Let's see what he's got. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Roost. Ah, so he might not be scarfed. He might not be scarfed. That means foul play is going to hurt you. Whatever's coming in. Whatever's coming in doesn't want to foul play. Like, Focus Blast has a chance to two-hit KO if he connects it. Goes for Dragon Claw. All right, so he's physical. That does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. Dragon Claw also hurts me back. Um, that does a lot of damage. Oh my god. Where am I at? 33. Ooh, that's some damage. That's some damage. Goes for Dragon Claw again. I'm going to get the leftovers off. Ooh, Dragon Claw, if he's adamant, that is a chance to kill afterwards. Mmm, if he's 252 adamant. I'm going to go for a wish here, provided he gets the low roll. 
Mm. Those are outrage. Okay, so he locks himself in outrage. That sucks. That sucks. Alright, dies to... Alright. Umbreon's gone. This is not looking good whatsoever. Um... Kieran Black... Mock Punch is not killing him. I think I need to go on to Raichu and connect to Focus Blast right here. Pretty sure I need to go on to Raichu and connect to Focus Blast right here. 100%. 100% I need to go on to Raichu and connect to Focus Blast right here. That is, that is, this is, this is a 6 0. Is dependent on me. Actually, Mach Punch might have killed, but if he's Chopper Bear, I need to go for the Focus Blast. A 6 0 prevents me, is me getting a Focus Blast right here. Ginger misses the Focus Blast. Are you kidding me? Fuck. All right. Yep. I got outplayed 100%. That is to cure him. Outrage. All right. All right, Conkelder. Conkelder and Rhydon bringing it home. Can kill him right on bringing it home. If he's Chopple right here, I'll be so angry. I'll be so angry. See so who withdraws. Goes out named Janium. Celestila. Defensive Celesteela with like Air Slash. Thirty to forty. Thirty-four to forty. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Punch. Let's get the paralysis. Let's get the paralysis. I just got stunned on. <laughs> I just got stunned on. Goes for the air slash. 34 to 40 if he's uninvested. Give me the paralysis. Nope. So that did. Yeah, that did way too much. That did way too much. Yep. It's the whole game right here. It's the whole game right here. Dies to Celestila. Air Slash. All right. Now, if he's got Giga Drain, right on just goes down here. I'm assuming he has the Giga Drain for Rhydon. I'm assuming that. Oh, yeah, and I'm way under half. Yeah, GG. GG, Christian. GG. GG. Goes for Heavy Slam, actually. All right, Heavy Slam is not killing me. Or just does so stupid amount. Oh, my God. All right. And then I'm going to die to Heavy Slam. That's game. That's game. Dies to Celestila. GG, Christian. GG. There's the heavy slam. All right. That has been that has been an incredible stunted on match by myself. I apologize for the performance on that. I I got outplayed like a motherfucker. I don't know what it was, but GG to Christian, guys. Go show so go show him some love down in the, his channel go show him some love in the comment section of his video of course all that being said i'm gonna remind you guys to be great and do great i'm gonna let this out show bang i'm gonna talk to y'all soon later